I mean, it is one cent, so it's not too bad. Yeah, a one penny burger that's probably better anyway. Yeah. I don't know. Let's take a look at what's happening weather wise here. The radar right now shows a little bit of shower activity to the north of the triangle. We're going to zoom in for a closer perspective here and ooh, zoomed in a little bit too far to the south. A few showers north of the triangle are continuing to move from west to east. Even a little sprinkle there trying to move towards Fayetteville, but this activity is really just not going to last much longer. It's going to be off the coastal plain already by mid afternoon. Skies have been clearing out. We're kind of seeing intermittent mitten clouds and sunshine right now and that snow that we started off with this morning has gone by the boards in southern Virginia and along the Virginia state line. The time lapse from Carter Finley Stadium shows the skies clearing out but then some more clouds bubbling up kind of an unstable flow of air from the northwest but around here that just means some clouds and an occasional shower. In the mountains Boone has really been getting snow throughout the day. 49 degrees the temperature right now at the stadium officially in the triangle we're chillier than that. It's only 37 right now in South Hill but that snow this morning didn't stick to begin with and it's long gone now. Even the roads have dried out and as anticipated those roads were just wet even when that little burst of snow is moving through between about eight and nine o'clock this morning. This is the live view from Goldsboro. Pretty sky out there with those clouds trying to bubble up a little higher. 49 degrees the temperature so it's definitely cool. 45 both Raleigh and Durham. 41 Roxborough and Henderson. 49 Goldsboro, Clinton and Fayetteville as well as Rayford. Those are the warm locations but everybody on the North Carolina side in the 40s. Well you're still stuck in the upper 30s right now in South Hill but you'll make it up into the 40s later on today. As we head through the rest of the afternoon, our limited shower chances will dwindle to essentially nothing as we head through this evening and overnight. As skies clear out, temperatures drop off. We'll be down to around freezing already by midnight. Start off tomorrow morning in the upper 20s, and it's going to be chilly but dry for the rest of the work week. Lots of sunshine tomorrow, just a few fair weather clouds on Friday. Good weather for stock the sled. And then we get to the weekend, which is complicated. Let's take a look at the latest information. The big picture, Central North Carolina, right on that rain, sleet, snow dividing line. It's an annoying place to be and we are there yeah, quite often. Precipitation most likely to move in Saturday night, sticking around Sunday even into Monday. Too early for specific amounts of anything wintry or even the timing of transitions from cold rain to sleet and snow, back to cold rain and then back to sleet and snow again. This is unlikely to be an all rain or all snow event for Central North Carolina. So let's show you a couple different versions side by side of the two main forecast models that are in range at this point. So we have the American forecast model here, European forecast model, which is the better one, but it's not perfect either. And there are plenty of times when the American now does its European counterpart. So we look at both of them side by side to get an idea of the possibilities. We're starting at seven o'clock in the morning. We'll just stop the maps every 12 hours along the way. And you can see where we start here already some major differences with the American one quite a bit farther north with even some snow for middle and east Tennessee. This is going to be spreading up towards us eventually, but already some timing differences apparent as we stop the clock here at seven o'clock in the morning on Sunday, either covered all of central North Carolina in rain, a mixture of rain, sleet and snow, possibly even all snow or just waiting on the arrival. That European model has been significantly slower. And again, that's the one that tends to be a bit more accurate. So we wind the clock forward again. We'll stop the clocks here Sunday evening and that rain, snow, sleet transition line. The difference in where it is is not a vast one as you go from one model to the other, but there is more of a northward bend to that European forecast model. And these things tend to show a northward drift as we get closer to the actual event. That's the historical pattern. Doesn't mean it's going to be the trend this time around, but that's kind of the thing that we look for. And then even more differences as we wind the clock forward towards Monday morning, either cold rain or snow a palooza across much of central North Carolina by early Monday morning. And I kind of joke about it because I don't think that's the most likely scenario at this point. And again, more differences. The one thing they have in common is, as you see, a mixture of rain, sleet and snow changing to cold rain and then changing back over to snow. It's a matter of how long each of those lasts along the way that would potentially bring us some road or travel difficulties as we head into Sunday night and Monday in particular. So we're going to be watching for all of that in terms of our actual odds of adding up enough of sleet and or snow to be a problem on the roads. The Weather Prediction Center has kind of shaded their forecast, and this is a branch of NOAA towards that European forecast model, saying for Wake County in particular, only about a 20 to 30 percent chance that we get enough snow to make a mess of the roads. That's not a zero percent chance. You can go to the Hall of Fame in baseball by about 300. You go farther to the west, though, and the odds ramp up. Western North Carolina looks like they're going to actually get dumped on. Same thing for the mountains of Western Virginia with several inches of heavy snow accumulation. Now, could that drift a little bit closer to many of the counties of Central North Carolina? Sure. The odds of getting more wintry stuff go up the farther north 
northwest you go, they go down the farther southeast you go. So we'll keep an eye on all of those different scenarios. At this point, I would just be allowing some extra travel time by Sunday, Sunday night and Monday. This is not a scenario where you need to declare a bread, milk and toilet paper emergency and go to the store and clean out the supplies of all of those items. We will keep you updated as everything gets closer. The closer we get to this, the whole storm is still in California, so it has to get closer to us. We get better and better data and we'll be able to keep you updated. We'll have dry weather for the next couple of days. Stock the sled Friday again, looking pretty good. I think the Durham holiday parade uh -huh. is going to be fine Saturday morning. We're going to be out there bundled <laughs> up because it's going to be chilly, but it should be dry Saturday morning before that wintry mess All right. moves well, close to us. That's some good news whenever yes, it comes to it. Exactly. Well, coming up next, be sure to check the packaging on any ground beef you might have in your freezer because the agriculture.